City of Wichita looking for answers after a transit bus caught fire overnight. The fire caused $650,000 in damage. The city blames the vehicle's lithium ion battery. Firefighters cut open the top of the bus to get to the battery compartment and then spent an hour and a half putting water on it to cool it down. So we were able to contain the temperature by just continuing to put uh, douses of water on the battery cells themselves. And once that was um, accomplished, we were able to move the, bu the bus outside to the exterior and continue to put more water on it to make sure that there wasn't any type of reignition. The bus manufacturer is coming to Wichita Thursday to investigate what caused the fire. So what does this mean for the future of Wichita's electric bus fleet? Kason's Hannah Adamson here with what she is learning. It is new at 10. Hannah. Jeff, Julia, Cedric County Commissioner David Dennis says he's part of a new task force to figure out the infrastructure needed to support electric vehicles and keep firefighters safe. He says the current technology used to fight electric vehicle fires is expensive and as we saw in the EV bus fire overnight, requires a much larger amount of resources. On a gas fire, uh, from the studies that I've seen, it takes about a thousand gallons of water to put that fire out. Uh, on an electric vehicle, in order to cool that battery down enough, they're talking about 30,000 gallons of water. Commissioner David Dennis says a process known as thermal runaway makes fighting lithium ion battery fires much more difficult. So if one cell out of all the hundreds of cells that are in this battery starts to overheat, uh, then it transfers that heat to the next cell and, and it's just kind of a ripple effect. WFD the, Battalion uh, Chief Jose Okady says an extinguishing agent known as Lith-X is a good alternative for fires caused by small lithium ion batteries, but it has its limitations. Those larger types of vehicles or buses, transportation types of vehicles on being able to contain that temperature, water is going to be our first and best option. O'Kady says the WFD only has one five gallon bucket of Lith-X currently in use. He says the department would prefer owning 50 buckets, but the average cost per tub, $440. We would love to have um, this type of extinguishing agent on all of our vehicles but right now because of the technology is still new and the research continues on what's the best options. Another challenge fire and building codes unable to keep up with technology. With the new technology of these electrical transportation vehicles um, there's nothing in the current fire code or building code that has any language or relates to this type of fire. O'Kady says Wichita follows the latest International Code Council regulations on fire and building code that was released in 2018. He says an updated version will be released in 2024. Meanwhile, Commissioner Dennis says the next EV task force meeting will be held in June. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.